Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for visiting. I wanted to come on and share a few cards I got in the mail today as well as um, some stamps that I purchased and then also share with you something else. So let's take a look at the um, three cute cards I received in the mail today. This one is from my friend and yours, <laughs> Gabby with an I. Isn't that cute? I love that little Santa paper in the background. He's like little Mr. Lumberjack. <laughs> so cute. And this is a beautiful tree die cut that she's um, accented with this beautiful rectangle frame. So very, very nice, Gabby. And I don't know what dies uh, Gabby uses, but the embossed edge of the dies that she uses is just really, really um, slight. Very, very pretty. So thank you so much, Gabby, and um, your sweet note inside made my day. So this is Handmade with Love by Gabby. Cute, cute, and it's got silver, um, really fine sparkle um, over the whole card, like she sprayed it with a um, glitter spray. So pretty. And then this one is from Kimbo, of Kimbo Creations. So thank you so much, Kim. This came today, and I love this color. This is one of my favorite favorite uh, colors this bluish grayish green color um so pretty and I love the embossed detail that you did and this sweet little snowman stamp uh, centered with all of these really fun ovals sending you Christmas hugs and then I want to show you guys the inside of that embossed panel as well isn't that pretty it's like a really nice mandala so pretty so thanks so much, Kim. Inside, she says, wishing you a Merry Little Christmas. So thanks, Kim. I hope you and your family had a wonderful holiday. Um, and uh, your growing family, that is. All those cute little grandbabies you have. And then this card here is from my friend, Carol D. She sent me a thank you card for the gift that I sent her for Christmas. And I think this little card is so cute. And she fussy cut the gnome. I don't know if it was maybe in some pattern paper or a uh, digital print that she might have but she fussy cut him out and then layered him on a green piece and fussy cut that out <laughs> amazing and then layered it on this fun quilt piece uh, panel so really cute card carol thank you so much and then she puts her initials and uh, the year on the back so very very sweet thank you so much and then i got some stamps in the mail from adornit um i had a, a bit of an issue with my um recipe stamp club subscription it wasn't actually sending me my monthly stamps so I contacted them and they um, got it all sorted out so I think I finally now have caught up with the uh, stamps that I um, hadn't received so I got the uh, grandma's gingerbread uh, I know you guys have probably all seen these but so that one came in the mail today and then the add-on for the gingerbread set was this one here so grandma our gingerbread greetings from our house to yours. These cute little adorable gingers here. There's the, a bowl of gingers, a basket of gingers, and a cute little stitched heart. So that was the add-on stamp for that month. And then I got the January stamps. I think these are January. Um, maybe they're December. I don't know. I need to go look at the list, I guess. Um, but these are so cute. Mom's sugar cookies. So this is a really nice large stamp. I know um, several people who have this as a wood mounted stamp and it's always been on my list but I've never been lucky enough to find it so now I don't need to. And then I love this little row of heart cookie cutters. So cute. And then there's these little rows of stitching. There's that little heart um, again here smaller and then a little doily. And let's see I think it might be the same heart if not just no I guess it's just similar. So really cute. And then the add-on set for that um, mom's sugar cookies uh, was this fun set here that has all these little um, cooking implements. Um, I love the butter press. That's so cute. And uh, this little cookie sheet of heart cookies. And then it says around the circle here, love to bake. So very, very cute. And um, one thing I um, noticed is on the envelope, and I haven't paid attention enough to the other envelopes I received, um, I don't know if they all have this uh, image stamped on it or if this is unique to this month's uh, envelope. But this would be a really cute stamp as well. <laughs> so, there you go. And then the other thing I wanted to share with you guys is I spent some time last night dyeing some seam binding ribbon. 
so I thought I would share it with you. So basically what I did is I just took a uh, white or cream colored, I think it's cream colored um, seam binding, and I put down a non-stick mat on my desk here, and then I used some of my Distress ink pads and smushed them onto the um, pad, and then spritzed it with water, and then dropped the ribbon in it and let the ribbon soak up the ink, and kind of squished it around and made sure all the ribbon was kind of damp. Um, and came up with some really fun colors. So there's this one, it's kind of that aqua greenish um, tint. Um, here's one that has some beautiful rust colors in it. Some gorgeous purples. And uh, I used walnut in this one. Um, and walnut actually makes this darker brown here. So this little um, hank of ribbon turned out really, really pretty. Uh, here's a brown one that I did, and this actually started out as brown seam binding, and I just added um, walnut ink um, to it, and water, obviously, but uh, so it kind of just enhanced the brown of the um, already existing color, and added some fun details there. Here's another one that started out brown, and I used um, Vintage Photo to get this beautiful um, dark rust color. I think that color is so pretty. And uh, so this little hank turned out really nice. These are all just little five yard pieces of my seam binding ribbon. So each one of these is five yards. And then the other colors that I made um, was this olive green one. This started out as olive green ribbon and I added um, vintage photo and walnut to it. And it just gave it kind of a distressed um, look to the green. So I love that. That was fun to do. And then I made um, a couple more of this really light green. I was trying to make some that would be, be appropriate for spring. And I'm so, so drawn to these earth, <laughs> earth colors, but they're not very springy. So I really had to try hard to uh, calm, calm my jets, cool my jets, <laughs> not use so much ink. But uh, I think these turned out really pretty too. They're kind of a um, refreshing green. And then I did some with the, um, I think it's called Honey, uh, Honey Yellow, and tried that. And this was actually using um, the Oxide ink. So I thought that was kind of interesting. It, it um, turned out a little bit more saturated um, where that yellow is, is the Yellow Oxide ink. So I thought this little bundle came out nice. And then I also created this one, which has a little bit of everything in it. It has a little bit of pinks. Um, it has some turquoise, um, some of that uh, denim color. And this one is just a really, really beautiful hank with all these different kinds of colors in it. This one actually reminds me of the inside of like a clamshell. You know how they have that mother of pearl uh, pearlescence to it? That's what this one reminds me of. And then this was the last one I made. And uh, I used more pinks and the raspberry and then just added some vintage photo and a little bit of walnut to it to give it this darker, um, darker look here. So these are super fun to do. Um, if you've never dyed your own ribbon, I really um, encourage you to try it. I can show you guys how to do it if you would like. So just leave a comment down below if this is something you'd like me to show you how to do um, or if just my description of it was enough for you to get started if this is something you'd like. So just thought I would share these fun little things. It was kind of a nice relaxing project to take care of last night. I've been meaning to add to my tea dyed uh, ribbon um, stash and thought instead of tea dyeing this time I would do it in these fun colors. So I think they're so beautiful. So anywho, thanks for watching. I do have another video to film for you tonight. I got a package in the mail today from Miss Marilyn G. So I wanna go ahead and film that and get that shared. And if nothing else, so I can see what's in the box. <laughs> so have a great night, everyone, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.